and welcome everyone. Hi, how are you? It's lovely to see you. Um, we have another uh, mostly Joe Locke class today, Tai Chi class, um, but we're also going to do a wee bit of uh, the Eight Brocade as a, as a treat. As more people are coming in. Good stuff. Um, yeah, we'll give that a wee second. Lovely. Uh, and as you can see, we have the lovely Willem Ackermans uh, as our guest. And um, we might even have a little frustrated cat running around. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're keeping him in until uh, rush hour is over. So let's get started. Right hand in fist, left hand straight, pulling back the thumb, feet together, hands together. We press forward. And Lao Shi Ha. Thank you. And let's relax down. So we're going to go straight into the eight brocades. But let's just do a wee bit of um, the preparation for eight brocades first. So let's go into open stance, please. And just let your breath flow. And as you do, you can feel, uh, if you relax into it, a slight rocking sensation. Now, uh, when we're doing standing practice, that can happen and we want to relax through it and let go and the rocking goes away. But in this exercise, we want to actually ride the wave. So forwards and back, just feel for the natural instinct with your breath and go with it. Nice and calm. And we can make the waves a little bit bigger. We can exaggerate them with the breath. Very good. And let's go into what we call the recovery exercise uh, so we can do between sets. So we're going to gather the chi as we breathe in, drawing in towards the chest, turn and relax down. Good. Three times. Very good. Sorry, I'm laughing because the, the cat's meowing. <laughs> He's wanting out. And gather now, uh, lower to belly, drawing in to centre. And let's just take a moment, calming down, breathing, relaxing to centre. Very good, let's release, relax. I'm assuming that at this stage you have nice clean hands and face, so we're going to do a further wee warm up. We learned this with a um, lovely teacher, Master Feili Yip. Actually, we studied the, um, the eight brocades with her as well. So just rubbing the hands, make sure that your hands and face are clean, please, before you do this. If you're watching the video, you can press pause and go and wash. Good, and we're just going to do a wee massage of the face. I'll come forward so that you can see. Start with the chin, up, out and round. That's it. Good, and then we continue, but this time we go up and over the scalp and round behind the ears and down through the neck. And again, just waking up the system. Good, and let's rub again. Just a few wee pressure points, the so washing without water. We go two fingers either side of the widest point of the nose. Take the middle fingers away so that you're underneath the pupils of the eyes and drilling into the skull basically uh, to that jawline, upper jawline. Good, and release. 
and then you can see my wee dimples now. Rub again, and this time just above the bridge of the nose, between the eyes, pinch and circle one way and the other. So the first one was Yingxiang, welcome smell. This one is called Jingming, bright eyes, good for waking up the eyes, helping the tear ducts flow. Rub again, underneath the eyebrows. Circle one way and the other, and gently smooth across the eyebrows. Yeah, that's it. Rub again. I don't know if you can hear the cat, maybe the noise cancelling stuff cuts them out. Let's go on to the uh, temples. I prefer to use the heels of my hands gently but firmly drawing the flesh across the temples. One way and then the other. Good. Rub again. Pinching the ears. Good. Yes, and as Ellen just did, if you get the urge to do any other adjustments as you go, I would go with it, you know, do, do what you need to do. So we're pinching all the way around the ears, try and get inside and outside and just give them a bit of a pull in all directions. This wakes up the system. If you're not used to doing this, please go gently. You can actually be overwhelmed because the ears have pressure points that relate to the entire body. So if it's your first time, it can be a bit, a bit much. So go gently, rub again. <laughs> and we go behind the ears. Good, and finally rub again. And we just go down to the kidneys and just give them a gentle rub. Good stuff. So we have gently awake, awoken. We've gently woken up. <laughs> I haven't yet, but uh, <laughs> we have woken up the system with a little bit of uh, your Chinese massage, uh, Chinese traditional medicine massage, which is part of Tai Chi. So let's do a little bit of Wuji just to allow all that to settle in. And I'm going to ask you to bring your heels together and your toes a little bit apart. So that's the Taoist style of Wuji. Check your posture, please. Floating up through the top of the head, chin slightly down and back. And just take a few moments to calm and breathe. Listening to your body, listening behind. good. Don't know if you could hear the cat purring but it's very therapeutic. <laughs> it's very nice. All right so let's lengthen the fingers gently down please. Keep good posture, release belly, hips and knees and let's step open to shoulder width and level. So we're just doing a whistle stop tour of the eight brocades here just as a wee reminder as a wee warm-up. It's not the full Monty at all. All right, so are we ready? We're going to breathe in, lacing the fingers together and lift at chest height. We start to turn the palms and we press forwards and up, lifting the chin, look through the hands as you breathe out. Breathing in, lift the hands above the head, lengthen through the body and very softly release and open, gently lengthening through to the fingertips, but keep 
the elbows unlocked. Release, relax down and we begin again. So we lift, let the breath flow in your own time, turn and press forwards and up, lift the chin, look through the hands, lift the hands, lower the chin, lengthen and release softly, extend, releasing through belly, through hips, through knees. Let's go one more time. Lifting up, stretch and open. Good, so we're just going to do three of each. So let's embrace. And relax down. Gather to center, please. Checking posture, relax to centre. Good, release, relax down. Next, we're going to look at the archer. Now, there's a bit of fiddly stuff going on in this. He's really adorable. <laughs> okay, ready? We're going to uh, raise the arms and let's bring the, your left hand on the inside, release belly, hips and knees, and we're going to step open to your, sorry. Yeah, yeah, open to the side. We're going to pull back the fingers uh, like a claw on one side and we make a J shape so we pull back a uh, ring finger and little finger on the other side and we're going to sink down release belly hips and knees sit back so the knees are not pushing forwards and really stretch look past the last knuckle on your index finger as if you're taking aim and release open feed the weight back into the one side and come in and repeat on the other side so opposite hand on the inside this time release relax down we're going to look and step the hand that's on the inside makes the claw all the fingers contract uh, the other hand we pull back ring finger and little finger and we turn the palm and stretch the bow look beyond your last digit of the index finger and release and open and come in. Good, let's do it. Just do once more on each side with this one. We float up, relax down, belly, hips, knees, look to the side and step. We're going to make our claw and our J shape, turning the palms and shoulders down, stretch it to the sides, look to the last digit, index finger and beyond, and release, open. Transfer weight, come in. Good, last time, floating up. Ah, relax down, look and step. We pull back the claw, we make our J shape, Pulling back index and little fingers and stretch, look past the index finger, last joint release, open and come in. Good. Let's do our recovery sequence. Go. 
gather into belly. Dandian. Just take a moment checking posture, relaxing to center. Good. Well done. Release, relax down. Next we have raising one hand to hold up the sky. We're going to everyone, regardless of male and female, everyone in this one, we're going to raise the right arm first. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my right arm first as well. So I'm gonna turn my no I'm not. I'll mirror, that's fine. Are we ready? <laughs> raise your right arm first, okay? So we're going to breathe in, lift, turning right palm to right palm to face up i'm mirroring for you left palm to face down breathing out with who stretch and release breathing in and change arms on the other side breathing out with who stretch release breathing in and out Release, breathing in, and out with who. Shaping the mouth to let the air escape. Last time, breathing in, and out. Oh. And in, and out. Good, release, relax down, recovering in front of the chest, and down. Recovery moves. Gather and cover centre. Hug your elbows in, check posture. Relax to centre. Beautiful, relax gently down. Next we have looking back. So I'm going to come forwards a little bit for this one. We're going to press the hands down, feeling for all 10 fingers, and spread the hands out to about 30 degrees, palms facing back. Then as we begin to rotate the hands, bringing the thumbs up and back and the little finger edges underneath, we turn the head to one side. Think of lengthening, screwing the arms out of their sockets right up into the shoulder blades, turning the head as far as you can, and release and relax, softening, returning to centre, relax the arms down, and we repeat, so we lengthen through all ten digits, stretching palms facing back, 30 degrees, and then lengthening through the joints as we rotate thumb edges back, little finger edges under, turn the head to the other side, Think of screwing out of your arms through the top of your head and release <sighs> back to centre. Let's repeat. Lengthen through the top of the head as well. Turn. Rotate. Feel right the way through to the shoulder blades and release and relax down and again 
lengthen and turn. Good and release. Relax down. I think that's enough of that one. We'll just do two sets because we want to have some time left. <laughs> Good. All right. Let's do our recovery. Hello, love. Yeah. And again. And gather and draw in to center. Hug your elbows in, check posture, relax to center. Release the arms gently down. Next, we're going to look at swinging the head and tail. Let's open the stance. Again, this is quite a complex wee sequence. We're just covering it. I'm not teaching it because it would take a long time. Okay, so the hands to the crease of the leg. We're going to lengthen through the top of the head. As we breathe in, we rise. And as we breathe out, we bend one leg and create a diagonal, lengthening through the top of the head. Look to the instep of the opposite foot and we're going to turn on that line to face out and swing, sweep the top of the head from one side to the other. Now release the head, relax it down and gently roll it back as we swing the hips all the way around, three quarters. So we finish with the head and tail back. Release, relax the tail down, straighten up the head and breathe in, floating up, lengthening the spine to repeat the whole lot on the other side. So we lengthen, look to the instep, turn on that line, keep the length of your spine as we swing across to the other side, relax the head down, rolling the head back as we roll the hips around the front to the side and back and release the tail down head comes up and float up. Now, if you're not sure what's happening with the hips, don't worry, <laughs> you can just circle the head. Repeat, ready, we float up, breathe in, lengthen and bend. Look to the instep, turn on that line and lengthen, sweep around to the other side. Relax the head, circling the head back, circling the hips round the front to the back as well. Head and tail are back, sit the tail down, bring the head up and float up, breathe in. On the other side, last time, we lengthen and turn and sweep. Head comes round, hips come round, head and tail are back, sit the tail down, head comes up, float up and walk the feet in. Okay, let's do a little recovery. We have gone through this before in this class, many moons ago. I think back maybe when COVID was just kicking in. Uh, so let's see how much you remember. <laughs> Good, relax down and gather to belly. Check posture, please. And breathe, relax to center. Just notice if there's any areas that are overworking or feeling tense. 
Give that a moment to release. Let go. Good. Let's release those hands down. Next, onto the kidney exercise, brushing the hands down the back. So the palms pressed facing down. We're going to breathe in and float forwards and away, and we go all the way up. And then turning the palms to face in and down, breathing out, release, relax, down. As we pass the upper chest, we turn the palms and bring the hands round the back to stroke the palms over the kidneys and down the back, continuing down the legs just as far as you can comfortably, all the way down and around onto the feet. So fingers in line with the toes, centre of the hands over centre of the feet. Wherever you are now, breathe out and relax the body down. On the in-breath now, we sweep the hands forwards away and lift the hands up. Breathe in. Good. So don't lift your back, lift your hands. Breathing out, repeat. Around and down. Keep breathing, oops, necklace fell off, keep going, around, hands over feet, breathing out, relax down, let go, breathing in like jumbo jets, the hands fly forwards and up, lift, float the hands up, good, last time, we'll do this one three times. Good, gently down over the back, down the backs of the legs, around, hands over feet, breathing out, relax down, breathing in, the hands float forwards and away, float those hands up, don't worry about the back, good, and relax, all the way down this time, good. And let's do our recovery moves. Now I'm going by the textbook for the order of this, but I could have sworn Fei Li Yip did the last two exercises in the other order when I studied with her, because I remember the transition. <laughs> um, but we'll not get into that. All right, deep breath. Good and gather to centre. Wrap the elbows in, checking posture. Calming down. Good, let's release the hands gently down. Next we have movement seven, which is punching and glaring. I think they call it thrusting fists, but it's punching. Let's take the thumb in first. So we're making the healing fist and the other fingers gently on top, and we bring the hands up to the waist. I suppose that's why they called it thrusting fist, because you should never punch like this. This would break your thumb but this is a healing practice. So this is the healing fist. We're gonna take a deep breath in. And as we breathe out, we're going to press your left hand forwards first. I'll mirror, breathing out, press the fist forward. And as you do, widen your eyes. This is a liver gallbladder exercise. Open your hands wide, spreading your fingers wide and turn the thumb edge in and under as far as you can comfortably. Relax, release that scoop around, thumb in, fingers on top and release the gaze as you bring the hands back. Good. So a lot of this is to do with the eyes, the face. Deep breath in. On the other side, press with resistance. Widen those eyes. Fierce gaze. Open the fingers wide and turn in and under. Release up and over. Thumb in, fingers in, and come back. 
Good, now I'm going to come forward so that you can see what's happening with the hands more clearly. Deep breath. And press, widen those eyes. So the fist is with the eye of the fist facing up at this stage. Open wide, spread those fingers, turn in and under, up and over, thumb in, fingers in, and release, relax to center and relax your eyes. Good, one more time, deep breath. And breathing out, press, fierce gaze. Open wide, stretch, in and under, up and over, thumb in, fingers in, release, relax, down, good. So yeah, I feel a little bit like a psychopath, <laughs> just the look of it, but that's actually correct. We want to really pin the gaze with your hands, relax down because it helps to balance out aggression and anger and balance the liver. Okay, let's do our uh, embrace and relax time. Now some folks have a really good fierce gaze. <laughs> it would give you the chills. Uh, But if you're struggling to have a fierce gaze, you just widen your eyes. That's enough. And relax down. And let's embrace to the belly. Hug your elbows in. Breathing and relaxing down into your belly. Good, let's release the hands down. So we've got to the eighth brocade, or the eighth piece of, what do they call it, eighth piece of lace sometimes? Yeah, okay. So the idea is that these are treasures, that these are very special practices that are very good for the health. So uh, it's the heel taps. So I've seen many different varieties of heel taps. They're all good. This time we're going to breathe in and float up, lifting off the heels, breathing out with who again, slowly down, just off the floor, drop. And again, breathe in and drop. And again, breathe in and drop. Now you may be finding this difficult to balance, in which case let's flip over to the um, yin-yang qigong method. So we're going to turn the palms and as we breathe in we're going to think of lifting heavy weights which helps us come up. Turn the palms, breathing out, pressing down just off the floor, drop. And that might help you balance. Breathe in, float up and turn. Good, one more time. Breathe in, float up and turn. Good. And just to finish, we're going to do another variety, just so that you know that there is a way that you can do it comfortably. If those didn't suit, we're just going to bounce on our heels. Ready? And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're done. <laughs> we could do it more, couldn't we? Yeah, it's nice. Let's do twice more, count of seven. Ready? And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and rest. Good. Well done. Let's just feel through the top of the head. Chin slightly down and back. Release, relax down. We'll finish with one more set of recovery. Actually, quite often you could do the full lift. So let's do that. We'll do three full lifts, floating up, breathing in. Two, 
Sharring with energy, breathing out. Suspend your breath at the top, press the fingers into the sky, press the toes into the earth. Think of sealing in your good energy and release. Relax down, guiding your hands to cover centre. Hugging your elbows gently in. Feel the touch of your hands flowing into your centre. Feel your energy is stronger. Beautiful, well done, relax down and close. Good, okay, we heel tap. So that's a wee, as I say, just a flying visit of the eight brigades. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it came back to you. I know there's a lot of details in there that we just kind of shoved our way through, but um, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, so moving on now to Master Lock's work. Um, Dylan, would you like to go through the Phoenix once? Yeah. With the group? Yeah. He's settled down. <laughs> Thanks. Good. Thank okay. you. Once through the Phoenix, please, everyone. Make sure you have plenty of space on your left and in front. Start heels together, toes slightly out. Lengthen the body. Calm down. And let's begin. Right fist on the left hand. Now release the fist. Let's go full circle on the flying dragon. Which, what's it called this one? James? Swimming dragon. Swimming dragon, thank you.
good. <laughs> that was very good. Uh, well done, everyone. Yeah, really nice. I took a sneaky peek and uh, I know I'm disembodied voice here. Yes, I took a sneaky peek of how you were getting on and yeah, I thought it was very good. Eric, especially, I loved the, um, the quality of your movement. You have that lovely feeling of the air being thick and you're pressing through the air, that little bit of resistance. It shows a uh, sensitivity. That's very good. I'm impressed. So, but everyone very good. Um, yeah, the choreography is nice and I was going to say tight, but you know what I mean. It was it was all there very well. And thank you, lovely. Okay, so now we move on. Uh, we'll just have a wee look at the immortals. We've got to the stage of immortal fishing toad, uh, and I get the impression that. Um, Everyone at the moment seems to just want to go through that much rather than look at the end of the form. Am I right in thinking that? Yeah? Okay. All right. It's, uh, it's wonderful having Willem with us because um, I think he has good insight in it. Uh, would you have a watch this time if you yeah. sit this one out and yeah. um, maybe any feedback at all for... Yep. Any of us would be great. Okay, so let's go from the beginning of the Immortals and we'll just um, head on through. So, back a bit. Okay, ready? Let's lengthen up. Chin slightly down and back. Calm down. Lengthening the fingers down. Ready. Start. Sorry, I did it wrong. Can we go again? <laughs> it's in Phoenix mode. Start again, let's lengthen up and relax down. And start.
turning to the back, step left, pluck left foot, turn toes, right chases, pluck right, feed the weight back. Fishing toad. And I think that's as far as we've got, so we'll just close there. Relax, done. Well done. <laughs> okay, how did you get on, folks? Yeah, so, 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 oh, bad. Okay, <laughs> all right, talk to me. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I found it hard to follow that time, actually. Okay. I couldn't, and, uh, couldn't quite remember the choreography. Okay, okay. Um, all of it, or the last bit, or...? Well, there were quite a few bits. I'd just forgotten the sequence, really, so... Uh, yeah. You know, once you start going wrong, a lot goes out. I, I, I know what you mean, it's a kind of cascade. Well, uh, to be fair, you know, we've done a lot today, and then to throw you in, it's kind of, you know, the brain has to kind of um, get into the swing of it, so repetition is the thing. So if we were doing the whole class in, in Mortals, you'd probably, um, by the third or fourth time through, you'd be, you'd be much clearer so not to worry but it's good good feedback okay thank you what about tony uh i'm sort of doing it in chunks so i'm up to quite a bit and then i'm really running out of space as well <laughs> i don't have the room yeah that's it there's a there's a kind of skill set in itself of being able to sort of readjust in your space so that it it fits in I, I think master lock stuff in general is quite good for sitting rooms because it doesn't move around, say, as much as Laoja. Laoja is mustard for a small space. You really need a big, like a hall or a park where you can just keep moving. Yeah. But um, it's just a case of when you run out of space, do a little skip back. Um, or you can adjust particular movements to be smaller. Um, so yeah, if we do it nice and slow, hopefully that gives you time as you run out of space, you can go, oh right, and you just, you know, if you're, if you're one foot forwards and one foot back and you run out of space, you can do a little skip back uh, so that you're not sort of taking a lot of time and you're not kind of dropping out of your position and moving back and then trying to find the position again, but there is an art to sort of repositioning keeping the <laughs> the essence of what you're doing going keeping the flow even with that little thing but it just it comes quite naturally through you know what is it necessity is the mother of invention you just sort of find a way and um, and people find their own way to to adjust so don't worry too much about that um, I'm okay say, when I'm doing it outside. I've got plenty of space inside. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And I'm brilliant there. Absolutely got it off, nailed completely. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well done. It's so I wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Juanita, what about you? How are you getting on? Um, you yeah, know, Grand, um, I said the start's always a bit dodgy for me. I need to pay attention when I'm watching. When I'm follow and really need to follow the, the that one. I think I don't know whether it's I'm just not getting my hands in the right place or my feet in the right place. But I tend to find that I'm playing catch up. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, what we'll do with just a few minutes left. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah. Um. Dylan, would would you mind getting up? Because actually, Master Lock has a very his work has a very specific effect on me. It helps all my organs balance, but it tends to send me to the toilet. <laughs> so I'm going to excuse myself. And Dylan, would you mind just gently, slowly talking through the first few moves with the group? Uh, okay. Up to work. Um, well, we've got six or seven minutes, so up to I come back, basically. <laughs> it won't take long. Uh, I'll pop you on mute, folks, and just follow along with Willem. We'll just take it nice and slow and steady. 
Um, I'm going to this clip. Yes. Okay. You're being ever so good to him, spoiling him wrong, keeping him safe from the rush hour traffic, but he doesn't understand that, so he goes, why are you doing this to me? Okay, folks, so follow along with Villain, please, and I'll excuse myself and be back in a second. Okay, okay. one more time. Heels together. Lengthen, calm down. Movement number one, feel the fingertips. Lengthening, focusing the energy, two fingertips. Scoop forward, sit back. Left hand comes under, hug ball. Expand, swing the right heel out, stepping out. And turn the feet, sweep the arms, sit back. Number two, turn the right foot in, come into empty stance, and like a guard position or block. Step out, push. Number three, rolling the hands, right hand pulls in. Left hand pushes over, pull the knee back along with the elbow, knee towards knee, step back, push the right hand over, and step forward, push the left hand over. We'll do one more move from the waist, turn, change hands, right hand comes up, turn the foot in, step along the back. Turn the feet, expand, like your ward off, and roll back, press, palms face in, right hand over left, step back again, roll, push, half a step in, let's do up to here, that's alright here, let's just repeat these. One more time. Engage. Scoop. Hot ball. Expand. Arm towards arm. And turn the feet. Sit back. Number two. Start and push. Number three, roll that ball. Rolling and rolling. Number four, turn right, change arms, turn left, step. And expand, roll back, press, and push, on the GL. Good. And one more time. And then let's continue. Once we're at that same step, we'll go a bit further. Engaging, scoop, the left hand comes under, rotate, expand, step out, turn the feet, sit back. Number two, guard. And push. Number three. Knee towards knee. Pull back the knee and elbow. Knee towards knee. Roll the hands. Step forward. And next 
one. Come over, change hands, turn the foot in, step around, turn the feet, board off, roll back, press, and push. We just done up to here, Jane. Yeah, that's perfect. I oh, think that's okay. a nice place to finish. We'll keep it up to here. Then. Thank you very much. Brilliant. We will, I think what we will do, thank you so much, uh, in the next few weeks, um, we'll maybe spend a little bit more time just on the immortals. Remind me, please, because I get carried away with stuff. Um, yeah, so we will uh, we'll continue to do that. We will revise everything we have done uh, nice and slow and steady, talk you through just the way you did. I thought that was beautiful. It was really nice and clear. Hopefully you found it uh, also. And um, so, I mean, you, you're familiar with it all. You've done it all, but it's nice to, to break it down or rather just guide you through that little bit clearer. Um, it, it is a complex form, all those turns and there's subtlety in all Tai Chi. Uh, but you're doing really well folks i hope you've enjoyed today's class let's finish with a little bit of rotation and breathe i find no matter what it is you're practicing it's always good to finish with something simple and relaxing so you don't sort of go away stressed at complexity um, it helps you reset and just relax down so that the good stuff can really process. Let's go down to the legs, cup your hands. It helps you forget everything basically. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I know that sounds ironic, but um, your, your body will remember it. Allow your brain to forget, it's fine. With repetition, you don't need brain memory, you'll have body memory. Up you come. And we have video memory. And video memory too. <laughs> yeah. There was a, a post, a gif, not a gif, but one of those things on, on Facebook uh, recently that I reshared I thought was very good. I said, you know, to, to uh, improve your memory, try to learn one thing every day. To improve your peace and tranquility, try to forget something every day. And it's so true that, you know, we try to carry a lifetime of stuff in our heads. But actually the way to, to be peaceful and tranquil and happy is to let it all go. And even if you let it go, you still have it. You know, it's like putting your bag down. It's still there. <laughs> you just don't need to hold it. Good. Let's do it again. Heel taps. Ready? And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again. Nice and floppy again. Good. Nice deep breath. Float up. And down. Suspend your breath at the top. Press your fingers into the sky. Press your toes into the earth. Sealing in your good energy and let go breathing out guide your hands one more time to cover center let's chest check posture breathe relax into your center feel your energy is stronger Beautiful work today. Wow, we crammed in a lot, didn't we? <laughs> Relaxed time. Let's salute, please. Shu San Hao. Lao Shi Hao. Thank you very much, Phil. It's just so good to have you <laughs> here in class with us. Isn't it lovely to have that other perspective and just beautiful work? Thank you. Okay, folks, have a good weekend and hope to see you next time.